Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel. I get so many requests for uh, what's in my bag videos, and I haven't done one in a while, and that's mostly because in the last one I mentioned that most of the companies I work for provide work boxes and things of that nature with adapters, and a lot of the stuff I would have had in a gig bag before, I just don't carry these days. So I'm gonna share with you what I do carry, what most days, and this is just like my around town bag. This isn't what I carry on traveling dates. This is just what was in my bag like this week. Obviously what's in my bag, what's in my kit, uh, videos are very popular. So there will be some new videos coming up soon with other people's kits. There's no point in continuing to look at my kit over and over again. Uh, so other folks in DC, in the Northeast region, and people coming in and out of town, I've got some videos coming up with some folks uh, showing you their Pelican cases. And it's the kind of thing where I pop into uh, their gig and we just shoot it real casually. So if you're coming through DC or if you're in the area and you'd like to participate in that uh, shoot me a message any way you want and we'll set that up I wish I carried more interesting stuff to share with you all the time but we're gonna start looking at your kit soon not just mine but for now here's what I'm carrying this week you'll definitely notice that most of what's in my kit right now has to do with computers and that's just because so much stuff recently is uh, you know either networked audio or things like Shure wireless workbench and different pieces of software that I need to use regularly uh, along with making these videos and updating the website which I've been doing a lot of in this past week or so. So that'll be reflected in what's in my bag this week and I'm sure like most of you it changes depending on the job, depending on where I'm going and the requirements of each job that I'm doing or whatever I'm doing that week if I'm not actively out on a gig. So this is my 2018 what's most often in my bag right now but it changes depending on what's happening tomorrow i'm going to do an outdoor gig and i'll probably take a whole different set of stuff so let's get started. Lots of this stuff I've covered before in previous videos, like the Audio-Technica ATH M50X that I currently use. You can see the headphone softy covers I use are really good at keeping those fake leather ear pads fresh. Every pair of headphones should come with a set of these in my opinion. Next up is a Pedco clamp. I've talked about these before and they really are invaluable. I use them quite often to mount microphones to things like lecterns, but they also work great with a phone holder like I have here for time lapses or other mobile phone use. Super versatile piece of gear. Similar to that, I have a Manfrotto mini tripod. Again, very, very versatile uh, for just under $20. My one terabyte SSD that I put together in a recent video. Sabrent case and sand disk drive. I really can't say enough good stuff about this setup. Next up, we have the Bear Dynamic Fox USB-C microphone. Again, I just did a video on this and it's becoming a fast favorite of mine, so be sure to check out that video. The short mobile cable for my Audio-Technica headphones. I love how they provide three different cables with the M50X. What an excellent value. After that, a 13-inch MacBook Pro, and we will talk about dongles and adapters in just a few minutes. Now, getting to the real important stuff, my rain jacket. It seems like it's been raining every other day this summer, wherever I've been. So I'm almost never out of the house without this in my bag. So many of them fold down like this now, and a good one will run you around $100 if you find one on sale, and you should get a couple of seasons out of it at least. I like the North Face ones that have the zippered underarm openings. Uh, that extra airflow is super important when you're working through summer storms. After that, we've got an iPad mini 4. I like the cellular enabled ones these days, but I've gotten by with the Wi-Fi only models in the past just fine. Then I've got another Manfrotto tripod. Now I don't typically carry two of these, but they do make a really handy cell phone stand on gigs if you just need to have your cell phone propped up somewhere securely for uh, a task for a few minutes. And after that, I carry a long lightning cable and this helps me connect to that Jackery battery or other things around front of house and keep devices like the iPad or my phone plugged in. And then of course I've got my PA of the day iHeart microphones pouch and we're going to dump that out and take a look in there in just a minute and I've got a lens cloth tons of those you can never have enough of those really front pocket there is room in there for things like my wallet and there's also some dividers that helps me keep business cards and stickers and other things I give away uh, close at hand so that's very helpful I also keep a long uh, micro USB cable in there for charging things, including the backup battery that I carry, so that's very convenient, and some Kleenex in a handy spot for uh, seasonal allergies as the weather changes. And here's the Jackery USB battery that I carry. These things really do keep me going. I never leave home without those. I keep a retractable badge holder for doing contractor work when they give you a temporary badge to wear that's very helpful, and some stickers from Trevor Higgins. He's been featured here on the channel, so check those out over on his YouTube channel. I will link 
like that below. I keep a notebook in the other front pocket and uh, might as well stick Trevor's sticker on there. Always good to have pen and paper, some extra Sharpies and things like that. And sometimes I do stick into the side pocket a DJI Osmo gimbal. And these things are amazing. They really do some cool stuff and they're super lightweight, but a bit of a challenge to set it up quickly when things are happening on the fly. All right, so let's get into this pouch. And this is the iHeart microphone pouch from PA of the day. I actually just got some new pouches in from Sound Tools and I'll be comparing the two sets very soon in an upcoming video. First off, we have an analog iOS XLR input. We've got a USB-C cable for the Fox microphone, a propel packet helpful to keep hydrated, another USB microphone, cable and a headlamp super important to have a headlamp uh, then a pair of Apple just regular old earbuds that I like to carry just for a backup and then the lightning to USB a camera kit a simple 2 amp charger there from Sony and then some USB C to a and HDMI adapters then we've got lightning to earbud adapters for my iPhone 8 some extra sharpies are always helpful to have in your kit as are some snacks I always like to have some crackers and things like that just so I'm not hungry more USB C to a adapters and a little bit of a USB C to a hub there, a 3.5 to quarter inch uh, headphone adapter, more lens cloths, a camping USB uh, LED light, another cell phone mount, a Thunderbolt to network, and then a USB to network adapter. Uh, depending on if I'm traveling, I'll have a knife or a multi tool and possibly a laser measuring tool. So that's pretty much the normal stuff that stays in that pouch. And it's kind of just the basics, unfortunately, of what you need to get any type of professional work done these days using only one portable machine that can work for both Mac and Windows operating systems. If you don't need that functionality, there are probably some much easier and cheaper options out there. It's worth noting that in the past year, I have switched from using Bootcamp and VirtualBox to run Windows over to just using Parallels. There is a cost associated, but for me, it's been really reliable and a bit easier to actually use in real world situations. Again, just for what I'm doing, there are advantages and disadvantages to each approach that you'll have to weigh for yourself. And that's it for my 2018 What's In My Bag update. Please do reach out, spread the word to your audio friends as well to reach out. If you're in the Northeast region, coming through the DC area. I'd love to meet up, buy you a coffee and see what's in your bag. You don't have to be named or even appear in the video if you don't want to. Anonymous audio kits might actually be more fun. Uh, thanks for watching, liking, subscribing and supporting the channel. Everything here is made possible by viewers like you. Thank you for letting me do this. I'll see you next time.